according to this report by Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select, has, quote, a willingness to work with Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. So he is willing to work with the people that he attacked. That's what you're telling me? That's nice. So here's the other thing that, uh, I mean, it's clear. I mean, Dak says that he talks to CM Punk every day. He talks to CM Punk every day. And M- and, and CM Punk wants to come back and he wants to, to make everything better, okay? I have not heard one word from the side of, of Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks about them wanting to work with CM Punk. If you watch the AEW All Access show, I mean, you can see that the whole situation, everything that happened with All Out, is is not something that is is sitting well with the elite. They weren't happy with what went down. In fact, Matt called it like the worst six weeks of his entire life or something of that of that nature. So we have we have no evidence uh, publicly or privately that I've ever heard that the elite wants to work with CM Punk and FTR. I mean, if, if there is, I mean, I'd be happy for someone to share it with me, but I've never heard a peep of anything indicating that they are willing to work with CM Punk, which begs the question, why is is Punk and and FTR why are they pushing so hard for this match at Wembley that i mean it seems to me there's practically no chance of this match happening so what is the point of pushing so hard for this match that's my question so anyway that's the story he's willing to come back and i suppose we shall see what happens down the road but uh clearly this is a very heavy push to return and CM Punk is, is I mean, he's able to return, to the best of my knowledge. I mean, uh, he tore his triceps in, in September, so he should, be, he should be good to go. And at this point, the fact that he has not been released from AEW tells me that the chances of him returning are probably pretty good. I do think he's probably going to come back. But anybody who thinks that he's going to come back and, you know, the Elite and Kenny Omega are going to be doing this big six-man and it's going to be a big main event coming up at Wembley, I mean, you know, we've done these predictions show before and people are often wrong, but I would, I would strongly predict that there's not any chance of that happening. But I suppose we will see if they continue to push that as they have been pushing it and pushing it and pushing it for quite a while now. And it's, it's uh, a big question as to why they're doing that. Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why does he do that? me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Somebody needs to put that to music, some 70s song. For the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.